Hi, I'm Jason. In this video, I provide some examples of sequential games. The first example is the ultimatum game. The ultimatum game involves two players, the proposer and the responder. The proposer is given a fixed amount of money, M. They then offer a portion X of the sum M to the responder. The responder can either accept or reject the offer. They make this decision knowing the fixed amount M held by the proposer and the offer X. If the responder accepts, the responder receives the offer X and the proposer gets the remainder M minus X. If the responder rejects, both players receive nothing. Below is an extensive form of the ultimatum game with M equals $10 and an assumption that the offer must be a whole dollar amount. At the first node is the proposer. They can choose to offer any dollar sum between zero and $10. Whatever the choice, the responder is at the next node. They can choose to accept or reject the offer. The payoffs of each set of actions is indicated in the brackets at the bottom of the game tree, with the first number being the proposer's payoff and the second number being the responder's payoff. If we work through this game by backward induction, we can see that for any non-zero amount, the responder will accept the offer. The only time they might not accept is where the offer is zero, but they still might. Given this, the proposer will offer zero or one dollars only. We can say that there are two subgame perfect Nash equilibria. The first is for the proposer to offer one dollar and the responder to accept if offered one dollar and reject it if offered zero dollars. The other weak subgame perfect Nash equilibrium is an offer of zero and acceptance. More generally, game theory makes a clear prediction on the outcome of the ultimatum game. If the players have monotonic preferences, that is, more is better, the responder accepts any x greater than zero and, possi and possibly even x equals zero, and the proposer offers the smallest amount the proposer can offer. Where the strategy space is continuous, that is, the offer could always be made smaller the only subgame perfect Nash equilibrium is for the proposer to offer $0 and the receiver to accept. The next example is the dictator game. In the dictator game, the dictator is given a fixed amount of money M. They then offer a portion X of the sum M to the receiver. The game then ends. Exchange is unilateral. Receivers have an empty strategy set. The standard game theory prediction is no interaction whatsoever. The director maximizes their payoff by keeping all of the endowment themselves receiving payoff M, which is bolded. The final example is the trust game. The trust game involves two players, a sender and a receiver. Both the sender and receiver are given an initial sum M. The sender sends a share X of their M to the receiver. This amount X is often called the investment. Before the investment is received by the receiver, it is multiplied by some factor K. Therefore, the receiver receives KX. The receiver then returns to the sender some share Y of their total allocation M plus KX. The final outcome is the sender has M, their initial endowment, minus X, the amount they sent, plus Y, the amount they received back. And the receiver has M, their initial endowment, plus KX, the multiplied investment, minus Y, the amount they sent back. We can represent these payoffs as M minus X plus Y, M plus KX minus Y. The extensive form of the game as follows is shown. Here is a numerical example. Suppose the sender and receiver are given an initial sum of $10. The sender decides to send $5 of their $10 to the receiver. This is multiplied by a factor of three. Therefore, the receiver receives $15 and now has $25. The receiver then returns to the sender $7.50 of their $25. The final outcome is 10 minus five plus $7.50, which equals $12.50 for the, for the sender, and 10 plus 15 minus 7.5, which equals $17.50, for the proposer. If both receivers have utility function u of x equals x, the only subgame perfect equilibrium is that receiver will keep all their money 
so the sender gets nothing. We can see this by backward induction. The receiver can either return Y for a payoff of 10 plus 3X minus Y, or return zero for a payoff of 10 plus 3X. The receiver will return zero. One way to think about this problem is that the receiver is effectively playing a dictator game. Working backwards, the sender therefore has a choice between sending X for a payoff of 10 minus X or sending zero for a payoff of 10. The sender will send zero. Relative to the Pareto optimal outcome, whereby the sender's full endowment is tripled and they receive a positive return on their investment, both players are worth off, worse off under the equilibrium outcome.